this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve equations that involve algebraic fractions, okay? So in this first example, it says 8 over x plus 1 is equal to 4 over x minus 1. Now, the first thing I want to do is get rid of, rid of these horrible looking fractions, okay? And I'm going to use a method called cross multiplying. Now, cross multiplying is really easy, okay? All you have to do is multiply the right hand side of the equation by this denominator, x plus 1, and multiply the left hand side of the equation by the other denominator, x minus 1. Okay, so when you do that, you then have 8 brackets x minus 1 equals 4 brackets x plus 1. Now I've put them in brackets because there's more than one term here in this expression and I have to remember to multiply all of this by 8 and likewise with the other side I've put the x plus 1 in brackets because I have to multiply all of this by 4. Now the denominators have disappeared and if you want to know why well if we look at the first fraction here when I multiply this by x plus 1 the denominator just cancels okay because 1 over x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 is just 1, okay? And likewise on the right hand side, when I multiply the right hand side by x minus 1, the denominator just cancels, you get 1. If you think of it like this, a third times 3, that's just 1, isn't it? Okay, so that's why the denominators cancel, okay? And if you just want an easy way of remembering it, you just multiply this numerator with this denominator and this numerator with this denominator and that's it okay no more fractions next what you need to do is expand the brackets so 8 multiplied by x is 8x 8 multiplied by 1 is negative 8 4 multiplied by x is 4x and 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 so I'm just expanding the brackets Next, I want to get the x terms on one side of the equation and the non-x terms on the other. Now, I'm going to move the small x term over to the left-hand side so that the x, ter x terms stay positive, but it really doesn't matter which way you do it. And I'm going to move the numbers over to the right-hand side. Remember, the terms that move across the equal sign change sign. So this positive 4x, when it moves over here, it changes to a negative. And when the negative 8 moves over here, it changes to a positive. Okay, so 8 take away, or 8x take away 4x is 4x. 4 plus 8 is just 12. And the last step in solving this equation is just to divide both sides of the equation by 4. So x is equal to 3. So in the next example, it says x over x plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 1 over x plus one and I'm going to apply the same method that I just showed you cross multiplying to get rid of these fractions okay so I'm going to multiply the right hand side of the equation by this denominator and the left hand side of the equation by the other denominator okay so when I do that it becomes x brackets x plus one okay we're timesing these together and putting this in brackets because there's more than one term in this expression okay we have to multiply all of it by x and on the other side we have 2x minus 1 in one bracket and x plus 2 in the other okay so whenever you see more than one term in an, in an expression and you're multiplying them together it's much better to put it in brackets to remember you're multiplying everything so now we need to expand these brackets okay remember that now we've done the cross multiplying the fractions have gone those denominators have cancelled okay so when I expand these brackets, x multiplied by x is x squared, x multiplied by 1 is just 1x. Here, 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared, 2x times 2 is 4x, minus 1 times x is minus x, and finally, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Okay, so I'm just expanding the double brackets here. Now, what I should do next is put all of the terms on one side of the equation, okay? So I'm going to move these two terms over to the right-hand side of the equation. Now remember, when they move across the equal sign, they change sign. So since they're both positive over here, they're going to become negatives. So on the left-hand side, there's nothing left, so we've got zero. On the right-hand side, I have all of these terms here. And as I go along, I can actually simplify these two x terms because 4x take away x is 3x. 
the minus 2 is still there. And then we have negative x squared and negative x. So I can keep simplifying because I have 2x squared terms and 2x terms. Okay, so let's look at those next. 2x squared, take away 1x squared is just 1x squared. And then 3x minus another x is 2x. And there's only one number, okay, without the x's, minus 2, so that stays the same. So this time we have a quadratic equation that we have to solve. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this and find the values of x. Okay, so I've just rewritten the equation up here that we're trying to solve. x squared plus 2x take away 2 equals 0. And over here, as a refresher, I've just written down the quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now remember, the, um, the values a, b and c we can find over here. a is the number of x squared. So in this case, a would be 1. b is the coefficient of x, so the number of x's, so it's positive 2. And c is just the number by itself without the x term, so this here, negative 2. So now all you're doing is substituting those values, a, b and c, into the formula. Once using the plus symbol and once using the takeaway symbol, okay, because we're going to have two values of x when we solve this quadratic. So when you put it into the calculator, just be careful not to forget any negative signs, okay? So it says negative b, so b is positive, so we have to write negative 2, and then plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4, lots of a, c, all divided by 2a. Okay, now you can probably do a few little shortcuts when you put this in the calculator. Uh, for example, instead of writing 2 times 1, you could just write 2. But it's a good method, um, a good habit to get into putting it down like this, especially when you get negative uh, numbers, uh, you know, for the value of B. Uh, you'd have to put that in brackets, for example. Okay, now I'm just rambling. Okay, so now you just put that in the calculator. If you put it in the calculator, with the plus um, here, you should get 0 0.7320 and so on. So if we round that to two decimal places, which is what's usually expected in this type of question, it would be 0 0.73, okay? That just means two numbers after the decimal point. And because the third digit is a two, it doesn't round the three up, it just stays the same. Then if you put it into the calculator again with the negative sign this time, you should get negative 2.7320 and so on. So if we round this one to two decimal places, it becomes negative 2.73. So just like in the other one, the third digit is a 2, so it doesn't round this number 3 up, so it just stays the same. Okay, so we've solved the equation.